we begin. The Chicago teacher strike is over, but the scramble for athletes robbed of a postseason is anything but. CBS 2's Chris Ty is always investigating tonight how this day after Thanksgiving was Opportunity Day for hundreds of athletes on the clock. It, it just ruined what I thought was going to be a, a fun senior year. It was the longest Chicago teacher strike in decades. While CPS football and cross country were able to use the courts and a lenient IHSA to salvage a postseason, soccer wasn't so lucky. I'm not angry at the teachers. But for CPS senior Angel Eris Mendez, the future was airtight. Valparaiso already locked him down, but a recent call from the coach. They canceled the program two weeks ago. Threw that future upside down. The strike deprived him of his soccer, its postseason, and the eyeballs of recruiters. But optimism remains. Being flexible, being uh, opportunistic about what, what's happening. A small army of soccer players descended on southwest suburban McCook today. We're going to go out there and do the combine. And then we'll just like practice, like passing and dribbling. Then we actually scrimmage. Playing for the coaches that hold the keys to scholarship. I actually already talked to a couple of them. Oscar Rivero coaches at Roosevelt University. What, what was your GPA you said? Three, and four. scrambling CPS students are high on his list. Coaches hunting for talent, players hunting for a home. The final fallout from a teacher strike that's ripple effects may last a while longer. I try to find a better opportunity from this. And so while today is big, the next few weeks are even bigger as the relationships form today, hopefully for these athletes, sprout offers in the school year ahead. In McCook, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News.